All right, I figured this was pretty fitting for the old holiday coming up here. Got the old red, white, and blue. Just kind of want to show off uh, the new arrival. We just got the DC Power XP270, or what once was. Got it about a couple hours ago. <clears throat> and before I even dropped it in the car, I ended up pulling out the stator and the rotor. You can see that it's pretty much completely unused other than well, what they did for dyno testing apparently. And uh, I built it into a 370. So TC's got a 370. Super Duty's got a 370. This is the 240 that I built for it, for the TC. And uh, you can kind of see and just kind of compare the actual case sizes. Doesn't look too much different, but the giveaway is the three lips on the heatsink here, the three fins, versus, well, on your standard large cases, it's got four or five with the center, that structural part of it right there that kind of gives a little sturdiness to the case on the front right there. That'd be the difference between your small case and a large case. So the looks are kind of deceiving on the camera anyway. I'm not sure how it's going to look when it's actually somebody's looking at it with a computer. But uh, yeah, so this is their full billet case. And uh, I just wanted to kind of note that it's got a pretty heavy duty rectifier. Pretty sure those are either 80 or 100 amp diodes in there. Uh, and it seems to have more fins than the factory style. You can see the, the uh, five fins there in the center of your screen. And that exact same spot on this alternator seems to have six or seven fins. Just kind of a more rugged unit. So we reinstalled that on a 370 stator and a 370 rotor. I put the two inch pulley back on it for now. I think I might just leave it. This one's uh, substantially smaller, but got a two inch versus a 1.77 I believe so I don't know I think uh, just switching over to the large case from the small case alone uh, is gonna make quite a bit of difference as far as uh, idle output anyway and a top end output too this thing will do 380 plus amps I've already dyno this one this one's built into a 370 as well with the same exact parts and uh, I've already dyno this one at 388 <clears throat> and that was 14.2 uh, volts 388 watts, so right around 5,000 watts, uh, continuous hot rated uh, out of the single case, single large case. This one will probably end up doing a bit more. I'd imagine the resistance uh, on the rectifiers, the diodes on them is a little bit lower. I should have measured them, but I didn't think to do that. I'm just kind of super antsy to get it in the car, so I just got done building it. You can see I've got some other parts laying around, but uh, this is the original rotor. And uh, the original stator that was in this guy. So right out of the bat, bam, I just needed the cases anyway. I mean, I didn't want to pay the extra for, uh, for them to do it because uh, I already had parts laying around for them, so in stock. But anyway, a little red, white, and blue for the 4th of July weekend. Figured you guys might like that. So I'm going to get this uh, large case bolted into the TC. Hopefully it fits. Uh, according to the camera, I mean, it's minute of a difference in the diameter it looks it looks about the same size almost I mean I mean for sure the parts are different inside <clears throat> you know small cases uh, 120 millimeters 128 I believe versus 138 for the large case pretty minimum amount of difference but the rotor weight and uh, the actual size of the stator on the outside here it's uh, it makes a huge difference at idle especially so anyway we'll be back with some clamp tests but i had to show that thing off so you guys could check out you know full billet dc unit not too many people run that these guys these days it seems like uh, everybody else gets their business but i figured i would uh wait it took about two months to get good things come to those who wait hopefully this thing lasts a good while we'll find out if it doesn't i'll rebuild it no big deal all right we'll holler